This is where the Living Theater was and the uh, building across the street on an upper floor and the benefit for uh, an anthology, uh, the famous publication uh, edited by Lamont Young uh, was held here in, uh, there were actually two benefits, January and February 1962. So I came down to New York, uh, it was the first time that I've been in New York since the previous July. And uh, the, uh, um, the anthology actually had a lot of uh, financial difficulties, you know, so Lamont was really struggling and complaining, uh, but these were the benefits. They were supposed to make uh, publication possible. And uh, so I came down here, you know, got off the bus or whatever it was and came over here on the subway, went upstairs, walked in, and Lamont was playing with a little jazz group, you know, on the stage. And there, I mean, there was just a scattering of people in the auditorium, or the little theater is what I should call it. And uh, I was carrying a song flute, which I played at that time. So, uh, you know, after I'd s sat there for a couple of minutes, I pulled out the song flute and joined them on the stage, you know, and just started playing away. Uh, what, what is a song flute? It was a toy instrument, a, uh, uh, a flute that was, uh, um, a flute that was held sort of, you know, like a clarinet or an oboe not a transverse flute, made out of black plastic. Uh, I mean, it must have been absolutely awful, you know, but uh, maybe, that doesn't, uh, maybe that doesn't matter, certainly not now. Uh, Earl Brown was there. I mean, he, uh, uh, you know, I remember his look of surprise or whatever it was when I walked up on the stage and join them. That's about all that I have to uh, say about about this one, except that uh, it's still quite vivid to me. As a matter of fact, you know, I might just say that this was the same trip trip to New York where uh, I probably read uh, uh, the so-called energy cube organism to uh, uh, Young and uh, Morris in, in Young's apartment. And it may have been uh, the time when uh, Earl Brown, uh, let me see, yes, I, uh, it was, that was the same trip where Lamont and I recorded the, the duet, the violin and piano duet, January, January 1962. And we may have played it for, uh, Earl Brown in uh, Lamont's apartment. In fact, that, that sounds very, very likely. And, uh, you know, I got one of these, I mean, he, he was actually wildly enthusiastic about it, but he said, you know, he worked at that time for something called Time Records. And he said, oh, we can't possibly uh, publish that. You know, you should try Atlantic Records. Then when I tried Atlantic Records, he said, well, this is the most unusual thing that I ever heard, but we couldn't possibly publish that. You should try Earl Brown at Time Records. Or, you know, they were all handing me off you know, to the, the other guy. Okay, I talk.